The napkin's over here. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Surgeon Simulator 2013. Uh, I didn't save when we got the A last time. But you all saw me do it. Let's just get rid of that. We don't take calls. Alright. Um, so, we're gonna hit the kidney transplant. Try to get an A again. As you can see, I've done it before. You can do it again. Uh, so, here come the tips. Look out. Over here. Alright. So, you know how you start this. You glitch the cloth in your arm. Twice. Remember, we gotta go fast. Uh, please refer to the previous video for general instructions. It's not that funny. Uh... So here we go. We're gonna cut the stomach. That's the first step. <clears throat> I'm sorry, not the stomach, the large intestine. So what you wanna do is left side you cut it at that little red bit. I'm sorry, the right his left, our right, you cut it at the little red bit, and this one just basically go in and stab it all out. Um so that's how you do that. And set down your scalpel because you're gonna need it in a second here. Now reach your hand in and grab that large intestine. Proceed to set it on this guy's neck. Let it just slither in there. Wow, that was really gross. And it's making noises now. Alright, you get an achievement for that, so that's a that's a good move. Pick up your scalpel again, remember? Your scalpel is an extension of your hand. So pick it up from the bottom so that you get the most extension out of it. So we're going to cut the stomach over here. We're going to cut the stomach over here. And we're going to set the scalpel down. For future use later. Maybe. So if you set this on his face, he looks a little bit like uh, Captain Jack Sparrow. You know, from Davy Jones' locker. Or maybe Dr. Octopus or Cthulhu. They're likely to fall off, though, the, the two small intestines this guy has. This guy's got a lot of problems. He's got no stomach. He's got no liver. In a sec. And, you know, that's okay, though. I mean, I've said this in the past. This guy's really the bad guy in this game. Because uh, he's the one losing the blood. He's the one dying on you. And that's... That's how you lose is when he dies. So the best thing you can do is not die. He doesn't die. And I haven't really thought this through. Um, so cut the kidneys where they meet the that yellow thing. I'm not a surgeon. Uh, you know, so <laughs> I don't know what all these things are. I'm pretty sure that's it. Urinary tract infection, or maybe the narcotic tubes. I don't know. I never know. I'll pull out the kidney, throw it. Oh, I almost got it on the on the pump there. Now this one's a particular. This kidney can be real problematic because you know your right hand, your left-handed here. Trying to do this with your left hand, and you can't grab things with just your pinky. That's really hard. So you can go in for the hammer here and smash his ribs up to make room. Um, I only do the bottom rib just to prevent the most blood loss. He'll start losing blood if you start stabbing him with the hammer, which you're likely to do because you're, you know, you're a beginner. Like. Yeah, why are you watching tutorial videos if you're not a beginner? Uh, so I set down that, stop the bleeding, and we're gonna get a good score here. It's gonna be real good. Uh, so this sometimes makes it a little easier to get the grab on, but uh, worst case here, you're gonna need, jeez, you're gonna need to go for the spoon, and it it almost always ends up being the worst case scenario. So get the spoon and scoop that kidney out. Uh, 
There we go. Just kind of angulate that in a way that allows for the best scooping. And just you know, scrape away at that kidney. Spoons, uh, you know, are very safe surgical tools, especially plastic spoons, because uh, they're they're made of, you know, they don't hurt anybody. You you can't stab someone with a spoon. It's not a spork. A spork would be very dangerous. Um, so this uh, here allows you to kind of stab away at his insides without actually puncturing anything. So as you can see, I haven't made a, a difference at all here in the difficulty of removing the kidney. Um, but I'm going to go for it anyway. I'm just going to go for the grabs. Maybe if I turn my hand, uh, I can just get it. I can get it. Yeah. I try to pinch. Try to do the pinch with the finger and the thumb. There we go. So uh, we're going to save this one because this one's particularly uh, a bad one. We're going to just set that down right here. And I'm feeling a little masochistic today. So I'm just going to... I'm sorry, sadistic today. This is my kidney. <laughs> what are we doing here? So I'm just going to give that a little drill just to show it who's the boss. I'm the boss. All right. Uh, get back here. I said come back here. I hate you. I hate you so much. You see this? You see the trouble you caused me? You see this? Alright, after that, uh, if you're angry, you can go in to grab the box. And just kind of try and rip off the top. But you're not that strong. You're not that strong. You're strong. You're a strong man. Alright. Or woman. I don't know who watches this. Drop in one kidney. In one spot. And careful. I know at least ten of you are going to make this mistake. Don't drop it in the same spot. Drop it in the other spot. And that's how you get an A on the kidney transplant. So thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos. We're going to walk you through this whole thing. Try to get an A on all the levels. Uh, and if you know this game, you know that uh, those ambulance levels are going to be really tough. So we're probably going to get a few failure videos in there, and those will be fun. All right. Uh, be sure to hit the like button. Uh, it really makes me feel like I'm worth something. And uh, favorite if you you need to watch a lot. Uh, subscribe because I'm gonna be sending these out every once in a while, and uh, you know, tell your friends, post on Facebook, on Twitter. Uh, my my follow my Twitter. Do all that. Bye bye.